Hey everybody, what's going on? We're going to be starting a little series today on how to set up your KV Core website. I don't know how many uh, modules there's going to be, but this is the first one and we're going to get started in one second. But if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon. And most importantly, if you have questions when while you're going through this video, put them in the comments below because chances are if you have this, these questions, other people watching these videos have them as well and I will circle back and answer them myself. Now, I my name is John Kinnanen and I'm a digital marketer and I'm also an agent here at EXP Realty. If you're watching this video, it's a very good chance that you are either with EXP or you have purchased KV Core and you don't know how to set it up or you're struggling with something. So without further ado, we're gonna jump into my computer here and we're gonna get started. All right, so let's get started. What we're gonna go through today are pretty much how to get started with uh, KV Core. First of all, you're going to have to request uh, that you get your KV Core. And how you're going to do that is you're going to log into your EXP Enterprise. You probably got an email when you signed up with EXP that had your login information for your enterprise. When you log in, this is what it's going to look like. Um, this will be your home screen. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to Optional Services. You're going to click right here request uh, access to your KV Core and it's going to take, they say it takes about seven to ten days but everybody that has signed up that I know it's taken a lot less time than that so as soon as you get access to that you're going to be, you're going to go to a screen here I'll show you I'll actually log out here so you'll go to kvcore.com and it will automatically take you to this this login uh, screen here and what you're going to do is you're going to put in your email address for exp which is usually just your first dot last name at expreality.com and then you're going to put in your password I don't even remember what mine is most of the time see there we go okay so you get logged in and this is what it's going to look like right off the bat. But first of all, what you need to understand though is KV Core is not a turnkey system where you you just unwrap it from the box and it's ready to go. There is a little bit of work that you have to do to get it set up and it, it's really pretty simple. There's a lot of customization that you can do. Here, I'm going to take you to my website. So this is my website with a little bit of customization. Okay, I did not do a lot of fancy stuff to it. I mean, you can do it, but we're not going to get into that really. Um, these are the areas that I serve. Um, and then you just have your, your information down here. Pretty, pretty simple, but we're going to get this set up for you. Um, and you can even set up like blog articles and that's, you know, we'll get into adding other pages to your KV Core site in a different module. Right now we're just going to cover just the basics just to get you up and running. So like I said just realize that this isn't a, a turnkey system though. Uh, on the front end like I just showed you it is connected to your your MLS so clients or people that you send to traffic that you send to your website they can come here and they can search for homes um, and it's going to pull up everything that's available in your MLS. If you're a member of multiple MLSs, you can add another MLS to your KB Core site for an additional, I think it is $14 uh, an MLS. This comes, let me cover this though real quick. This comes, this is included in your $85 per month um, that EXP charges. Uh, that covers your KB Core site, okay? And if you were to go off and just buy it outright, I think it's like between $400 and $700 or somewhere in between uh, there last time I checked, just depending on how many seats you buy and things like that. Um, like I said, though, the front end is connected to your MLS website. Um, we can add pages to it. The back end is going to look like, like this. See, so you go to kvcore.com, and when you log in, this is what it's going to look like, okay? 
This will be your dashboard. That's where we are right now. And we're gonna spend most of our time in this video, you're gonna click on Web in IDX, and this is where you actually get into really setting up your actual website. KV Core does have lead generating capabilities, but they're not automatic. And what I mean by that is you're gonna have to get traffic to your website, okay? You just don't turn it, you know, you just don't set it up and just leads just start pouring in, it just starts raining leads everywhere. Um, if you've ever built a website before or if you have a website, you know that it takes a while for Google to even know that your website is there and it takes even longer for it to um, start ranking for keywords and there are other websites out there that are going to rank higher than yours based on the fact of how long they've been, they've been up and how long and how much content they have on there and just backlinks and all kinds of stuff goes into to Google's little algorithm. So you're gonna have to have a social media presence to really generate these free or paid leads. Now, there is a way to get paid traffic to your site and I have a course on that as well. And there is a way to get free traffic as well. And basically, how you get free, free traffic or free leads is you post your KV Core um, links to your, your you pay, how you get free leads is basically by posting links that go that lead to your KB Core website to the main page that I just showed you. You can post links to squeeze pages you create with the KB Core website, and you also can create landing pages um, and post those links as well. And that's going to send traffic to your website. Where you're going to post these links at is your you can post them on places like Pinterest where um, you can create a board and then you can just have it link back to your website. A lot of people do that. Uh, but most commonly people use Facebook, they use their personal page, their business page, um, market, Facebook Marketplace is a good place to do and you can put it on your stories as well. Um, it is a little bit more difficult when you put it on your stories because if you don't have a bunch of followers, um, you, don't you don't get like swipe up options and things like that. Instagram, you can put, you can put it in your story, but again, if you don't have 10,000 followers, you don't get the swipe up capabilities. So it makes it a little difficult to put it in your, your news feed or your, your stories. You can put it in your news feed, but again, Instagram, you can't have like clickable links underneath like your little posts like you can Facebook. You can tell them to go to your bio and then click on the link in the bio. So that's basically the main way to do it with Instagram. You can also do it with Tumblr. Uh, LinkedIn is a great place. Uh, I wouldn't suggest putting a bunch of homes for sale on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is more... Um, to, to really connect with other professionals out there. And if you're with eXp, you wanna to get to know other real estate agents, even if you're not with eXp, you still wanna to get to know other real estate agents and uh, see what's working for them. Uh, a lot of them, some of them may, may answer you, others uh, probably won't, uh, unless you're with eXp where collaboration is a big part of being with eXp. Um, also, you're gonna to wanna to set up a Google My Business page and you're gonna to want to have a link to your website in there as well. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure that your Google My Business page is verified, which will just send a little postcard to the address that you, you put there. That's gonna give you um, higher ranking. So when people Google say real estate agent near me or real estate agent in your town, you may pull up, they may be, you know, it just depends. One of the things you're gonna to wanna to do though is you're gonna to wanna to get like at least 10 reviews up there on your Google My Business page so that Google starts taking you a little seriously, especially if you're a new um, business up there on Google My Business. So that's pretty much it for this video. Next, we're, gonna, we're just gonna keep cruising through. Like I said, I don't know how many videos uh, in this series it's gonna take, but I'm gonna break them down into little bite-sized chunks. I did make a video one time that was over an hour long, and I just think it's more digestible if you do it this way. If you have any comments, put them in the, in the comments section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it, and make sure you hit that subscribe icon uh, in the lower right-hand corner, and I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. Have an awesome week, guys, and